after school program and ours in particular is really great for the schools because it brings in fresh, local, healthy foods and adds those to the school meals. So I think this project had two focuses, um, or three actually. One was to get more local foods, fresh produce into the schools. Two was to educate uh, the children and the staff on the faculty about the importance of local foods. We've really focused on education in this grant. It's one thing, I can put fresh food in front of them every day, but if they don't know where it's coming, what it is, why it's there, what's good for them, they're never going to eat it. So the education is a lot harder and slower to build than just putting fresh food on the tray. So that was the one of the great things about the grant was the education piece that brought the children's awareness level up. We have been bringing kids from Poughkeepsie schools out to the farm where they're learning about agriculture, fresh healthy foods. They actually have the opportunity to plant something to grow vegetables and then to cook with those vegetables. And one of our main goals is to actually get them to realize that they enjoy that. So having the opportunity to cook the vegetables and then um, eat them and realize, wow, this actually tastes good. And yeah, we would eat this if it was in our school meal. This project is really important, mainly because uh, it's just important for kids and the community to access healthy foods. And so, uh, I want to do as much as I can to teach people how to grow their own healthy food um, and yeah, be able to eat healthily. The other thing is the uh, food service staff had an opportunity to be trained by the Culinary Institute of America who was a partner on this and um, they were able to learn some skills they, they didn't know and they were also able to learn how to cook some things that they were a little unfamiliar with. For the Culinary Institute side, my side, uh, it's to develop the recipes that, that we believe uh, the school can then take and sort of sell to the kids mm -hmm. as something that they want to eat, they're going to want to eat. Uh, so we're taking, we're taking recipes that, uh, like I said, you know, they might, the, the, the brownies, mm -hmm. they might have that when they go home tonight. Uh, the ones that they, have, that they have tonight will be full of butter and sugar and everything else. So we made ours a little bit different. We have the chickpeas and raisins, there's still chocolate in there. Uh, there's fat, there's oil, uh, olive oil. So it's a you know, a different composition, but in the end it's something that it looks right and it tastes good. It was cool to learn how to make stuff without using your regular day products. And I've been in food service work, food service work for over 20 something years. And to find this information out, it was like, wow, it's like mind blowing. So I'm like, wow. And our kids have no idea what we go through um, to prepare foods and how we get foods and it's like they don't quite understand the concept. And then three, from our perspective, it's about pr creating a new market opportunity for farmers here in the Hudson Valley. I think the Poughkeepsie Farm is extremely important because uh, we provide local food to the schools and cafeterias and we are a great way to teach the kids about the importance of local food because a lot of the time they don't get exposure to it and when they come here they learn about um, they learn about the effect the problems with processed food and they learn about the importance of eating healthy and composting and growing their own food. I've heard through Al Molnickel who is the food service director that um, the parents, through some of the tasting efforts that we've done, have been very receptive to the use of um, local foods and are even willing to try it at home. Um, and some of the kids have gone home, the students have gone home and told their parents they very much enjoyed, you know, trying that new kale chip that they had at school that day. Uh, so that was, that was a nice bright spot in the, in the program and, you know, one we would hope for would happen. For newborns, for little, for babies that are just learning to eat whole food or baby food, they say you have to get your kid to taste it 
10 or 15 times before they'll develop a taste for it. I think with, you know, kids who are much older, you know, elementary, middle school, high school, you probably don't need the 10 to 15 times, but it needs to be in a positive experience. So as long as the kids are having a good time, they're surrounded by caring adults, they're doing something enjoyable like cooking or gardening or um, even just walking through a field and tasting things as you go along, they can really, can really develop a taste for it and become, I mean the goal here really is to get kids to be lifelong healthy eaters, right? That they make fresh fruits and vegetables a part of their diets for life. Every week we're doing fresh fruits now where there wasn't that level before. The awareness um, wasn't there. And school lunch is changing. And for the better, I hope. Mm -hmm.